Hello, this is Timothy Perfit from Two Canoes, and I wanted to show you another new feature of MDS 1.8 um, that allows you to uh, use Disk Utility um, in an automated way to erase the uh, a file vault uh, volume prior to restoring onto it. Um, so let me show, first show you what the issue is and then how we went about solving it. So let me switch over, and so this is, I'm screen sharing onto a, uh, a MacBook Air, a Ma the new MacBook Air here, which is a, a T2 MacBook Air. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on File Vault. So I'll go into Security and File Vault and turn it on. Okay, so uh, file vault is currently being turned on. There it goes. So uh, file vault's now been turned on for this. And so now I'll boot into the recovery partition and show you what the issue is. Okay, so we've now booted into recovery. And now if I go in and I go into utilities and to terminal, to try and run the commands for the workflow, I'm now prompted to enter in a password. Um, so the only way to get past this is to put to know the password of the file vault user. So if you have machines that are maybe rentals or student machines or something like that, and they're being returned, you don't necessarily know what the password is. Um, and, uh, and also maybe you don't know if it's file vaulted or not. So we want a way that's consistently, consistently be able to um, uh, delete the uh, file vault, erase it, because we don't care about the data at this point. We just want to get the, the machine back to service. So if you click cancel on this, you'll see that it goes back to the main menu. So the only way to get to the terminal to kick off this process is by um, entering in that password. You, you can go into disk utility and erase this volume. So if I go here, you can see it's grayed out. I can just click on erase and I'll erase it. I won't do that right now, because I want to show you kind of an automated way of doing this. So. Um, let me shut this down. Shut down here. Shut down. Okay, so now I shut down the machine. Let me switch back to MDS. And so this is MDS 1.8. And um, we have a new feature in the automaton. So if I go into uh, configure Mac automaton, it'll read it in. And you can see that there's a new checkbox here that's open disk utility and race first volume. So what that'll do is it'll give the key keyboard stroke uh, the keyboard strokes to um, put in recovery part, uh, into recovery uh, partition, then um, do all the normal things that it did where it dismisses the, if it requires a mouse or something like that, and be able to put in the firmware password. But now we add an additional step, or if you select this box, instead of going directly in, opening up terminal and running the workflows, it will now go into disk utility, erase the volume for file vault volumes, quit then go back into terminal or go into terminal not get prompted because it doesn't need to um, at that point because it's not file vaulted and then run the commands so um, let me show you how that works so i'll take i'll switch back to the um, macbook air and i'll plug in the automaton and you'll see this whole process happen okay now that it's completed it's gone to into recovery open up disk utility and at this point, it's going to select that first volume and give the keystroke to um, erase it. So you can see it went ahead and erased the um, first uh, volume. And once it's completed, it'll quit and it will click done or it'll press return to dismiss the done sheet and then go back and continue the workflow. All right, so now we're back to the main uh, screen and it'll select terminal. And at this point, go ahead and run the rest of the workflow. You can see at this point, we weren't prompted for the password. Um, so at this point, um, everything's automated. And uh, even with the file vault volume, it can be totally uh, and completely automated without having to touch anything after the initial plugin of the automaton. So thanks very much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, be sure to subscribe um, to this, uh, uh, to, to the uh, to my, my YouTube channel because it does help us as well as it uh, notifies you of when things are available, uh, new videos are available. And also make sure you check out the um, product page where it has all the resources at twocanoes.com slash MDS. And I'll put all the information in the notes uh, at the bottom on this video. So be sure to check those out. 
Um, we have been uh, doing quite a bit of work on it, and 1.8 is, uh, um, is at this point feature complete, and so we're starting testing on it now. Um, hit us up in the Slack channel on the Mac Admin Slack, or um, head on over to the uh, Bitbucket repository to download a copy for yourself. Thanks very much for watching.